So to help inspire kids to become whatever they dream of, Emmy Award winning news anchor Ernie Anastas has written a children's book and it's called Ernie and the Big News and it's about a little boy who follows his dreams to become a news reporter. Ernie, is this sort of uh, the story of your life oh, in a way? You know what, you were just talking about dreams. I had a dream as a little boy to become a reporter. Uh -huh. And you know, downstairs in the basement, I had all my buddies come down there and all my friends and we'd all pretend like we were on television. <laughs> we'd write up our own stories. We'd think about all the people, you know, that we knew like Mr. Griggis, the mailman <laughs> slipped and fell on the ice, you know, and Mandy's Candies, you know, ran out of fudgicles. So we were making up our own news stories. Mm -hmm. But it became a current events club in school. And then eventually, you know, I ended up coming to New York City and becoming a reporter. Look at you. Now, when you thought about this book, what were you hoping kids would get out of it? Is it just about becoming a reporter? No, you know why? At the very beginning of the book, I yeah. dedicate it to children everywhere who have a dream because mm -hmm. I think it's really important for our young people to really believe in something mm -hmm. and to believe in themselves and know that they have a gift they have some quality that they can really pass along and that's why I want the kids to read this to learn about themselves but also to become a reporter if they choose and that. it's got some regular old life lessons in it doesn't it well you know what we talk about making sure that they understand the fundamentals of being a good reporter looking for a scoop being curious about everything also thinking about for example the truth truth, uh -huh. accuracy, and fairness. Uh -huh. Now, these are principles that you learn, you know, whether you're going to be a reporter or just a good citizen. Well, we do have these gorgeous kids sitting with us, and they are part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. It's because, Ernie, the profits from your book yes. go to Make-A-Wish. Why Make did you decide wish. to well, do that? Make-A-Wish is a fabulous organization, and it kind of dovetails because it's a dream and a wish. Mm -hmm. And these young kids, and you can see Quabina right here. Hi, Quabina. Who's with us right now. He How are you doing, honey? He is old. You're okay? Yes. <laughs> you're a little camera shy. Peter, you're with us too, huh? Yeah. Hey, Quabina, honey, what would you think of the book? I think it was inspiring <laughs> that um, Ernie started to make um, become a news reporter about his own book and his own life. <laughs> and I like because he makes great news about everyone for the children. Ernie, you've got a huge fan. Hey, Quabina, let me ask you something, honey. What do you want to be when you grow up? A lawyer. A lo How come you want to be a lawyer? Because I like to help people. Okay. Peter, let me ask you, what do you think of the book, honey? I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I also agree with him that it was inspiring uh -huh. that he wrote this book um, to help other kids follow their dreams. Um, you know, and work hard and, you know, to believe in yourself, follow your dreams, mm -hmm. and they will come true. And what do you want to be, hon, when you grow up? I've always wanted to be a professional baseball player. Professional baseball player, nice. And he yeah. also went to the New York Mets, right? You went to Shea Stadium and caught the first ball, which was your wish and it came true. Yeah, that wow. was my wish, so, and I'm a catcher, and I've always wanted to well. Now, Ernie, I think the interesting part about this book, too, is there's also an interactive component, right? Yes. Uh, it's the website, uh -huh. uh, Ernie and the Big News. By the way, with a Z, we use the Z for the news. news. Got uh, it. It's a little fun kind of thing. Uh -huh. But if they go to the website, we talk to them. I personally take them on a little tour of what it's like to fly in a real helicopter and be in the studio, and then we ask them you know, to write us a story. And if they write a story, they get, as you can see hanging around, they get a, an official press card. Cool. And I'm going to give you my card oh, no. here. Thank you. And some I of the kids, when we go out to the Schools, we give them these hats. I'm going to uh -huh. give you, Hoda, a nice wow. Ernie the Big News hat. It's Christmas. It is. Wow. But this is a great thing for and these Ernie, young I just kids. want to point out on the back of your book, you got some all stars praising you. Meredith Vieira says Ernie Anastas, he's as perfect as any newsman can be. Oh. Matt Lauer says we can all learn from Ernie. He's added class and dignity to all of his assignments. I mean, you're a busy guy. You anchor the news five night, days a week. Are you planning on doing any more books? Yeah, or? I am. I'm planning on writing more books, more stories. And, and I think you guys might even help me out with the next one because they've got great ideas. Excellent. We're also talking about turning this into a cartoon series, which I think would be really great for children. Ernie Anastas, it's always a pleasure to have Thanks, you on this Linda. show. And guys, thank you so much for being here with us. We really appreciate it. Again, the book is Ernie and the Big News.